Hello guys, my name is Joanna Sosa and this is my speech about what art means to me. The dictionary definition defines art as the conscious use of skills and creative imagination, especially in the production of aesthetic objects. This is according to the Merriam-Webster's dictionary definition. Within my 20 years of living, art or the beauty of art has provided a pathway into my self-expression, but most importantly has become a very a very useful coping mechanism for my stress and anxiety. Although not everyone's an artist, I truly believe everybody has the potential to create something beautiful. I was introduced to art in the second grade. I was brought to the United States at the age of seven, so therefore my primary language was only Spanish. So learning English for me was a long and dirty three year process. Art, however, has no language. I was still able to communicate with my peers even though I didn't speak the same language as them. And it wasn't until I noticed one of my friends draw a kawaii character that I became very interested in the intricate designs and the intelligence behind drawings. You know those cute little Japanese characters that kind of look like this? Well, let me tell you, my first drawings were so horrendous and me saying that they were horrendous is me being too optimistic to my 7 year old self. To say I was bad at drawing was humbling myself to a respectable level. I knew perseverance was key for me to be a good artist and I knew I had the passion for it so I kept trying. Artwork is a representation of a person's inner feelings at the time. The way art is created is through purely imagination. My favorite artists range between Picasso, Basquiat, Monet, Carlo, Kondo, and within those artists you have Cubism, Neo-Expressionist, Impressionism, Magical Surrealism, and Psychological Cubism. I don't necessarily have a specific art style that I cling on to, but I, those four styles have had a major influence within my own work. Although I cannot see your faces right now, I can imagine this must be like a look of confusion going on. So I dropped the link down below if you'd like to learn more about these different art styles. After all, this quarantine has given us, given us a lot of free time, so I encourage you look, to look into it. But when it comes down to actually explaining what art means to me, I cannot exactly put it into words. <clears throat> All I can say is that it has a big impact in my life. I've been able to create various different types of works where they range in very different ty uh, types of styles. Like a single painting can be interpreted in many different ways, such as the background of the individual or the way the viewer's brain looks at the painting. Like, I can have a very different meaning to one painting than you can. And the way art has provided me with a really go good coping mechanism for my stress and anxiety is that the art has forecasted me personally. I was diagnosed with an uh, anxiety disorder pretty late into my senior year of high school and it wasn't until I met with the therapist that I realized that my anxiety and my stress were actually over the normal. Art has helped me break from the bubble that I was trapped in. Art for me has become very therapeutic. The various medias I use such as acrylic oil, watercolor, charcoal, help me start a creative process of whatever feeling at the moment. These processes can connect any emotional well-being at the time. I often find that all my emotions get trapped within a painting and then they therefore leave my body. An artist can, one single artist can just slap a paint on a canvas and call it finished while me on the other hand, I take maybe minutes to even months to finish a single painting. Sometimes even titling a painting can be like unnecessary. So the underlying idea is that art is just all a matter of perspective. When idea strikes, everything that's happening in my world surroundings, it just becomes non-existent and I'm along in a world where my imagination is taking the lead. Like, for example, just imagine the rain falling down. Within those small moments, perhaps what you feel is like a cool quietness, you know, a feeling, certain feeling of calmness. Maybe you feel sadness, maybe you feel, you know, relief. How it feels to be in that short span of a time is how I feel when I'm taken away into that creative process. Being able to take that mental break has helped me reduce my stress, my anxiety, and it's not as severe as it was before. And I came to a realization that not a lot of people now that were in this quarantine are going through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. But I also noticed that a lot of people have started back up their art and that's something that makes me very happy and I can it's something I've been able to relate to. <clears throat> Although not everyone is an artist, I believe creativity is present within everyone. 
but not everyone realizes that you don't necessarily need to pick up a paintbrush or a two inch graphite pencil to find your own creativity it can be possible within writing poems playing video games playing a sport you know each person has an ability that can help them cope with whatever they're going through and i was fortunate enough to find that within art thank you very much